What's up, everyone? <clears throat> G Smith 624 here. Slipping out of my chair, no big deal. But uh, no, today we're here with an uh, update video for you guys. Just want to cover a couple series and stuff and a couple things going on with the channel and all of that. So the first thing I want to let you guys know is there is going to be a slight, a slight tweak to scheduling from now on. Instead of being uploaded 9, 10, and 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time every other day, if there's a max of three videos that day, they will now be uploaded at 1, 2, and 3 p.m. So not that much of a change, just gonna be a little later in the day. Cat, really? So that's not <clears throat> that big of a deal. I just wanted to let you guys know, so that way you're not freaking out. If all of a sudden your day, your other, 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 every other day content isn't coming out at the same time anymore. The second thing I wanted to say is Skyrim mod of the day is gonna be taking a little bit of a cooldown. It's not going away. Because that would be career suicide for me to get rid of that series when that's my go-to series that everyone comes here to watch. So no, that's not going away at all. Skyrim will still be around. Skyrim and Fallout will both still be around. But they're just taking a little break. They're not even taking a little break. They're just not going to be as often anymore. There will still be mods of the day. At least two mods a week. <clears throat> but... They're just taking a little bit of a back burner simply because I'm burnt out a little bit. And there is roughly 400 mods I have reviewed. I went back and looked just yesterday. And uh, in total for Skyrim and Fallout 4 mods, there's been about. There's been a little under 400 mods reviewed in total. That is, slightly to me, an absurd amount of mods I reviewed. If I put that in perspective, uh, if you look at, say, another popular mod reviewer, MXR, he reviews about five mods a week. Five, maybe four. So, if you did the math on that, one mod or four mod let's say five mods every seven days that's only 20 mods a week and I want to point out that is a week so MXR has roughly a hundred and 44 episodes of Skyrim mods of the day and Fallout 4 mods of the day in total. <clears throat> if he's reviewing about five mods a week, that's 720 mods in total. I already have half that. And I'm not saying he doesn't put work into his videos because he does, he puts a lot of work into his videos. It's not what I'm saying here. I'm just saying I'm catching up to the amount of mods he's already reviewed very quickly. If it is around that number, that's me making a rough estimate of him actually doing five mods a week. Regardless, you, you get the point there. We're at like 360 right now in total mods reviewed on my channel. So, I'm going to cool my jets a little bit on it. There will still be at least two mods uh, of the day every week. And the series was to be called Mod of the Day, but it's going to be taking on a little bit of a back burner. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about, this has been something I've been meaning to talk about for a while now, pretty much since all of 2018. There will be uh, top tens starting on my channel. Hello, cat. Uh, there will be a generally once a month at least top ten video coming out. This month, I've been working on it. Uh, I've been trying to get my top 10 games of 2017. It's a slow process because of the rules I put on it myself. 
so it's making it slightly harder to make that list. Should be out before the end of the month, though. So that is a little treat for you guys. Yeah, so, yeah, start expecting top tens and maybe some more game theories every now and then. Maybe a game theory every two months or so. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I want to talk about is I will, for 2018, to try and make it so we can have more YouTube content more often, I will be launching a Patreon. Now I know what you people are thinking, oh, he's just doing it for more money. Well, I can't deny it, yes. I have bills, I have to pay them. So I have another job other than YouTube. YouTube does not pay me enough to pay all, to do all my other bills. I would love to make more videos for you guys. Honestly, I love making videos. I have fun doing it. Some of the most fun I've ever had is just making shit tons of videos for you guys. But I can't do it all the time with as little as YouTube has been paying me recently due to the first, second, and third adpocalypse that have all hit it. So, granted, the third one hasn't really hit me, but if you go, if I look at my YouTube channel on a daily basis, every time I upload a video, it's immediately flagged that this is unsuitable for most audiences, so then I have to request a manual review. That manual review takes about uh, maybe 40, 30 minutes, but even then, I've lost maybe 50% of that revenue for that video. Right now, I'm making maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty a day off of YouTube now. That is not enough to get by. So I will be launching a Patreon. I'm not expecting you guys to donate anything. I'm just saying if you want more videos, you want more access to videos, you want more content in general, I highly recommend you donate to the Patreon. You don't have to. This is not me forcing you. This is me kindly asking you to donate on my behalf for the content you guys love. Think of it like a Twitch subscription. Ah, oh, you like this Twitch streamer? Give him five bucks a month. I'm just that Twitch streamer for you. Just think of it that way. Except you arguably get more content with me than the Twitch streamer, depending on how often that Twitch streamer streams. Wow, that was a mouthful there. But yeah. Then, the next update I wanted to talk to you guys about is scheduling videos and all of that. Just wanted to let you know, Dark Souls is not going anywhere. Dark Souls and Dead by Daylight are still sticking around. I know I haven't uploaded Dark Souls in the past couple days, so people have been asking, hey, where's the Dark Souls series? It's not going anywhere. It's still going to stick around. Uh, I just didn't have anything recorded. Actually, I do have something recorded. I, just didn't, I forgot to post it yesterday, I'm going to be honest. So that will be back up tomorrow. Dead by Daylight won't be going anywhere. And then uh, other series such as Skyrim will still be sticking around as well. Enter the Gungeon's not going anywhere. Uh, Fortnite's not going anywhere. All those series aren't really going anywhere. They'll still be around. Maybe some more Killing Floor 2 as well. And then uh, the final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is personal space. Now, this may seem like a weird thing to talk about, but the reason I'm talking about it is because there's about 20 of you, I won't name names, who message me about on an every other daily basis on Xbox to help them fix their mods or ask if they can play a game with me. Now, I don't mind playing a game every once in a while with you guys. I like you guys. I honestly do. You make it so I can do YouTube in the first place, uh, but it's getting to be a bit much, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. I like you guys, but if you're going to keep messaging me this much, we're going to have a problem. I get it. I'm the Skyrim guy, so you want help making fixing your mods. I, I do a lot of Skyrim mods of the day, but uh, if you go back on my YouTube channel, for example, or if you're asking me about a YouTube video I did almost two years ago now, 
about, hey, how do I make this mod work? Or, hey, this video is not up to date. What the fuck's wrong with you? Why do you still have it up? I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna, I mean that in the nicest way possible. But you ask me to fix a, vi a video for you, or fix a mod for you, from like a year and a half ago, I'm not gonna remember how to do it. We just went over this. I've reviewed over almost 400 mods. I'm not gonna remember every single mod and what makes it work or not. So, I'm sorry, but I can't help you nearly as much as you guys think I can. I mean, I'll try my best to help you out with your mods every now and then. If you post it on a YouTube comment, I generally do try to reply as fast as I can, saying, hey, this is what I remember of the mod. This is how you can maybe fix it and all of that. But don't get angry at me if it's a mod from 2016 and you're asking for help on it. Unless it's still a mod I use personally, I'm not going to remember how to fix it. And then the other issue is uh, messages on Xbox of you guys being like, Hey, can I play with you? Hey, can we play a game together? Sure. I don't mind playing a game every once in a while with all of you guys. In fact, I would love to do it. But when 20 different people are all asking, Hey, you want to play a game? Hey, you want to play a game? Why aren't you inviting me to your game? Wow, do you not like us or something since you won't invite us to a game? No. Of course I'm not going to invite you to a game. You're being a dick. I'm sorry, but if you can't respect my personal space to at least some extent, you're being a dick. I'm not, I feel like I'm not being the asshole in that situation. If you're, I understand you guys subscribe, you like the content, you like my personality maybe, you like the videos I make, and you want to say, hey, I appreciate, or not, not even you, I appreciate, hey, I like your content, can we hang out sometime? Generally, I'm okay with it. I'm a pretty chill dude. But when I'm in a party with my friends and we're either A, making a video, or B, just hanging out, and you're at spamming me with invites, I'm gonna get a little upset. I mean it in the nicest way possible. But I'm also only one person. I like you guys, but I don't like you that much. So I apologize if I have offended you by saying that. And, uh... That's all I really got, though, for this video. So, I've been your host, GSmith624. That has been my update for 2018 and all of that. Maybe there will be timestamps in the bottom here, in the description or in the, in the comment section. That's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.